Hey everyone, this is Joshua Thomas, and I'm about to teach you how to adjust your volume so that it is the same level throughout a video. So I've got a video clip here, and it has, I'm using a lapel mic that's on my shirt right here, if you can see it. And so my voice is going to be louder than his voice because I'm closer to the microphone, and this is what it sounds like without any kind of uh, filters on it. Posting a video. Notice how his is really quiet. Nice. Oh yeah, at least an unboxing if nothing yeah. else. Uh, and you can see right here that there's a point where my audio peaks out and his audio is too quiet. His audio is hovering around negative uh, 18, whereas mine is hovering around negative 6. And we want everything to be around negative 6. So... Shortly thereafter. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, at least an unboxing if nothing yeah. else. Um, we're... So what we want to do, there's multiple different ways you can edit audio. You can press P to get your pin tool out, and that allows you to put keyframes in your audio, and you can raise it just like I did there. Posting a video. But it's still not loud enough. Nice. Oh. So we're gonna lower that back down to where it's equal, almost. We're gonna make sure our volume is highlighted, our audio clip. We're gonna go to our effects, and we're gonna look for something called dynamics, and we're just gonna type in dy in the search bar. And that is the only effect that shows up, and so I'm going to click it and drag it into my effects control. So we'll do that. <clears throat> and now I can click on my custom setup drop down. For mine, it opens the window right here, and yours it might open a free-floating window that you can move around. And we're going to mess with our compressor. The compressor is going to take the low volume and the high volume, and it's going to compress it into a very small decimal stream. So we're going to mess with our threshold first. We're going to lower our threshold uh, to around negative 18, because that's where our lowest volume is at, or our lowest decibels are at. Our ratio, we're going to bump it up to around 3, so that's kind of telling how loud we want our audio to get if it's really low. Our attack can pretty much stay the same. The attack is how quickly our compressor compresses the video, so or the audio. So if I have a moment that's less than a decibel long, or less than a millisecond long, in which it goes from very quiet to very loud, it may not adjust the audio in time and it could peak out. But I'm going to show you up here, this is how much it's compressing right here. Oh yeah, at least an unboxing if nothing yeah. else. And that blue um, line... also going to be getting... That blue line tells me how much it's compressing to keep my audio from peaking out, which we definitely don't want our audio to peak out. And you can hear that, let's raise our makeup to about a six. Shortly thereafter. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, at least an unboxing, if nothing yeah. else. Um, we're also going to be getting... So now we've already gotten rid of that peak out that happened with my voice, and Adam's voice has been uh, brought up to a little over a negative 12. So now we can just raise this up again, where we had our keyframes, uh, posting a video shortly thereafter. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, at least an unbox. And now our volumes for Adam and myself are almost the same, and our compressor with our dynamics is doing most of the work. So we only had to make one keyframe, and this is just a small clip in a much longer video. So if we didn't use our dynamics, we would be adjusting volume left and right, like even in this little A section right here. I might have to raise that volume just to get it to be an equal decibel, but we always want our volume to be around a negative six. If you've got any questions that uh, perhaps this video didn't answer, uh, feel free to comment below, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I plan on putting out uh, many more editing tips videos. So thanks for watching, and I'll check catch you next time.